Uh, normally I would have you guys introduce yourselves and who y'all were playing, but since we picked um, pre-generated characters, then that might not be too necessary this time, but we are playing through the uh, beginner mission of uh, Food Fight for Shadowrun 5th uh, Edition, starring uh, Chris, Heather, Reese, and Raymond as our beginner, what are you, Adept, Rigger, Decker, and Shaman. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> do you, like, punch a wall? Oh, what do you do? There's a paintball. Oh! oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it, too! That was, like, the first shot of the game today. Ouch. <laughs> I, I got some nail polish. That might cover it up. <laughs> <laughs> that would be in the movies. You'd, like, lose your finger and drop your gun. <laughs> yeah, I'd be the first guy dead. Yeah. Uh, All right, so let's begin. Some connections have put you in touch with a Mr. George Hampton. Let's switch over to Georgie boy here. Oh, that's right, I can't turn around. <laughs> the interior of Hampton Holistic Healthcare looks like a shaman's medicine lodge exploded all over the place, which is probably not that far from the truth. Hampton doesn't fit the rest of the shaman, the shamanic image. The middle-aged elf is wearing a really nice suit, but it looks like he hasn't slept in days. The mob's got my daughter, Moxie, he says. I pay them a protection fee to keep the gangs away from my property. The business has been slow lately, and I couldn't pay this month's fee. The Fratellis are holding her hostage until I can pay them. And if I don't pay them, well, let's just say I bought Moxie a really nice ring for her sweet 16, and the Fratelli has more than one use for a cigar cutter. I can't offer much, seeing as how I can't even ransom my own daughter. But I can give you 500 each, plus a fresh toxin flush or colonic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so do you accept his, <laughs> accept no, his mission no. to... <laughs> 500, we're, we're just getting a girl back from some thugs? It's, it's my daughter, Moxie. <laughs> I'm not, taking her, I'm, not I, in I'm not in character yet, Eric. Leave me alone. <laughs> yes, the, the mission is to... Uh, it's a rescue mission. Sounds simple enough. Yeah. Sounds doable? <laughs> Make it a thousand each. <laughs> uh, roll, let's see. Already what rolling your, charisma, huh? What is your skill... See, it's, it's not just me. The charisma goes to your head real fast. Hey. <laughs> Roll your uh, etiquette. Where do I find that? I don't see an etiquette button. Uh, oh, tribal etiquette? Tribal etiquette, sure. Okay. Hey, he is a shaman. Any modifier? Uh, nope. Straight up. Yeah. Okay, he is uh, blown away by your impressive uh, uh, appeal to helping him as a fellow elf and shaman. Actually, I don't even know if Koidog is an elf. I think she is. Um, all right, all right, I'll give you the last amount of money I have, but you've got to bring her back in one piece. Two pieces. <laughs> the, most amount of, the most amount of pieces that she's in. That's better. I think your best lead for finding out where they've... Where they've stashed my daughter is to follow Vic Fratelli. He's a few crayons short of a full box, so you might be able to pump him for some info without him being the wiser. Also, if you do end up exchanging more than just words to get my daughter back, I'd be grateful if you could make it look like someone else was responsible. I'll gladly throw in even more money if it means getting the Fratellis off my family's back for a while. Anybody, uh, anybody else going after the Fratellis' heads that we could blame it on? There's a few other gangers around you might be able to snoop out, but uh, I mean they're they're a pretty big time mob. They've got enemies all over the place. It could be one of their own that takes them out. Could be uh, anybody that's crossed them before. I just don't need it to come back to me. Rival gangs always a good choice, I imagine. Please hurry. I don't know how long she's got. She has plenty of time. Don't worry about it. Stop <laughs> rushing us, jeez. <laughs> All right. My nails aren't even dry yet. And what'd you say? That. We're supposed to like go talk to some dude, and get information. 
Um, Saturnelli, something like that. Vic Fratelli. Fratelli. Vic Fratelli is the man. Um, Vic Fratelli's usual hot spot is hangout. Is it a fast food joint called McHugh's? It's uh, where he's always at at a certain time of the place, certain day, and I believe that's the best chance to uh, stop him and, and get the information you need. And please, please find my daughter. Fast food joint. Yeah, yeah, your daughter. We've heard you. <laughs> <laughs> you said that like eight times. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to assume you guys are going to go straight to... He points you out to where the actual location is. Hey, guys, my van's outside. <laughs> That's outside. right. So I think I'm the only one with the car. Right, jumped in. <laughs> so I assume that for the purposes of all this, I've got... It's like a six-seater van. There's the three of them. I'm driving the three of them, and i got my drones packed in the back. There you go. <laughs> Get everything Wait, packed in. Am I supposed to be seeing something? Or all I see is a screen. Uh, do you guys not see the pictures? I see McHugh's. I see it. A couple of the whole drive through. New spicy chicken, soy sandwich, soy ham, and Swiss. <laughs> That's weird. Why's it not showing up for you? I don't know. This turn order thing is in the way. Why don't I make that go away? Well, it should be a picture on the screen, not a black page. Huh. Yeah, I'll close it if I can. Can't draw. Are you zoomed out all the way? Is that the problem? Go ahead and read the description. You can smell the grease and other food service byproducts long before you ever step foot inside. To your knowledge, McHugh's has never served real bona fide meat in its entire history. McHugh's takes the greasy spoon diner concept, applies it to fast food, and takes it two steps further. If you get anything to go here, you'll be able to see right through the paper bag, and odds are the burger and fries you ordered will probably fall out through the bottom of the bag before you can get back to your DOS. The Hughes sliders are so named because they treat your digestive tract like a playground slide, the twisty kind. Ordering anything on the menu inevitably, inevitably ends up in sadness and regret. Whoever makes all this <laughs> stuff should probably be charged with violating a dozen different environmental laws and health hazards. But man, does it smell delicious. And it's super cheap. There's an offer you can't refuse. The outside of this particular building looks pretty new, which means it's probably been torn down and rebuilt within the last five years or so to conform to McHugh's corporate policy of cleanliness. A large macroplast sign next to the front door proudly declares, Bring your hunger, but leave your weapons at home. Thank you. On the plaque sits the smiling, the smiling clown face of the McHugh's mascot, which will probably be in your nightmares tonight. My weapons are my fists. No deal. <laughs> <laughs> leave your fists in the car. Let's see if you can see the picture first before we switch over. That is a car. Car <coughs> here. Uh -oh. Weird. She just sees a black picture instead of the car, instead of the picture. Well, it's just it's a small picture. All right, yeah, well, hopefully you can see the next one, because that's the important one. I can imagine it. Tonight. All right, so you guys are in the parking lot right now. That's a pretty sweet car. <laughs> <laughs> that is. And hopefully the uh, actual restaurant is grayed out, if I did everything correctly. Yep. Oh, crap. Everybody see our thing? I'm gone. What did you do? Nothing. I just went to the restaurant. Before you can see him back. I'm going to sneak into the restaurant. <laughs> um, so as soon as you get to the restaurant, you see it open and close, and you thought you might have seen a well-dressed man with a hat on uh, enter the restaurant. 
and you can see from the entrance that it does have a uh, metal detector as well as a very sturdy like um, oddly standing out ish uh, like steel doors as the opening oh so it seems a uh, very a uh, very much a secure entrance Wait, the restaurant the fast food restaurant has a metal detector yes <laughs> oh boy <laughs> I... uh... I don't have a problem leaving my weapons in the car. Uh, I like to yeah. try to disable the metal detector. Do what? Raymond's like already going to get us in trouble. I would like to try to disable the metal detector. I think you've got the right idea. <laughs> uh, let's see, let me pull up the metal detector. Meanwhile, I'm going to put two of the roto drones on top of the van, facing to the left and right, and set them to just century to feed me video information. Pull up your drones. And I'm, I, don't I'm have I don't have separate character sheets for them, so you will have to just... So there's three roto drones and one links, right? Sorry, I remember correctly. We'll give it different colors. Watch you take out these drones. Hmm? Are there any outdoor security cameras going to watch you take out these drones? Good question. Are there any outdoor security cameras watching me set up drones outside their building? <laughs> <laughs> um, there is nothing in the parking lot, actually. Do you want all three of the drones or just two? Um, so the other, the, the other roto drone and the links, I'm just going to leave behind the van, just activated, but okay. waiting orders. Gotcha. What are you? <laughs> I am a rigger, which means I have a drone army. Wait, which icon are you? A dwarf. This, this dude. Oh, okay. Alright, and you can control those drones, right? Yes, I guess I can. Okay. Alright, so you're going to try to attempt to hack into the um, metal detector? Uh -huh. Using my electronic skill group. Skill. <laughs> I think that's what I use, right? Um. Do I look that up? Do I look in the big, the big book. Hey, guess we can see the picture again. Nice. nice. You can zoom way in on that. You're starting this thing like six times. That was weird. Uh, Isn't this the first time we tested people hang out this well? Really? You didn't show the picture? Okay. Well, it looked like they kept kicking me. It was really weird. Uh. Um, I know in the quick start rules it just says to use your hacking plus logic. So basically your hacking skill for everything, if that's easier so, to do for now. One clarification. For, as far as I can tell, using every skill involves something plus something, right? Like a for skill the plus an most, attribute. Plus yes, for using skills, yes. Okay. So every skill is has a linked attribute with it. So if you would use a hacking skill, you would roll hacking plus logic. Okay. What's my hacking skill? I have a okay. cracking skill and an electronic skill. You don't have hacking? Does that exist? Are you cracking and hacking are the same thing? I, I guess so. This cracking is like referring to safes, I don't know. Right here. Technical skills, hacking. Hacking. Well, you're right, yeah. They mentioned hacking in the quick start rules. You have cracking and electronics. <laughs> I mean, you're, they're both the same number, so it doesn't matter. Go to patient. Wow. For me? I would you just know, roll uh, electronics cracking, as your skill. Cracking is a 4 and electronics is a 7. Uh, they should be the same. On your character sheet, they're the same. The one I'm looking at. Why is one a four and one a seven? Um, is cracking... S oh, what have I done? <laughs> this last word. They should both be fours, and your logic should be a seven, so they should both be eleven at the end. I should change that. 
Okay. I'll take Crap. the ones. I don't know. I guess just different uses. So just roll? Do I hit the roll? Yep. And there's not, not going to be any uh, modifiers on this. I don't know if Three I successes. All right, you uh, you successfully disable the um, metal detector, but you feel like you just barely got it undetected without setting off all hell. <laughs> but uh, the metal detector is successfully shut off without anyone being the wiser for now. I just need Reese to walk in with his weapons. That's all. <laughs> his fists are his weapons. Uh, so how do you guys want to approach? D Reese, do you do you really not have any weapons? I do. Okay, you do have weapons. Okay. We're all level one. Uh, these guys are like level like something ridiculously high. Oh, there's not. There there's really not levels, but in terms of there's karma, it seems like you guys are pretty well stocked. Like these guys seem like at least mid, if not high range characters. <clears throat> After all that hard work, I would say we walked through the front door. Yeah, I guess I try to conceal my weapons as much as possible as I walk in through the door. That's probably I'm a not, good idea. I'm not brandishing them wildly. Can I, okay. can I try to sneak into the door? You're going to sneak into the front door of a fast food place? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, just quietly go in so no one notices. Um, Don't worry about me, guys. I'm you, can, you can absolutely <laughs> attempt that. <laughs> <laughs> Roll your sneaking skill with a, uh, let's give you a minus two modifier to do that, since it is um, walking through the front door of an establishment. <laughs> Lights everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Minus two takes away die and not successes, right? Right. right. Okay. Okay. Three. I need to roll, let's see. Perception. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. All right. So uh, go ahead and walk through the door. Sneakily. Sneakily. Um, you see, uh, let's see. This fine uh, gentleman right here, who is supposed to be watching the door, has a uh, <laughs> he's grabbed a girly magazine off the shelf and is flipping through it and just totally doesn't even notice you waltzing through. <laughs> Not paying any attention. Um, this dude looks very dangerous and somewhat out of place. He is clearly the security guard for McHugh's. Um, and he is... Packing. This is a well armed fast food, fast food joint. Yes, it is. <laughs> Future is dangerous. <laughs> Future is dangerous. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I don't, here, here's a, 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 a high level question uh, like, to the universe. Go ahead. Uh, is this a normal thing for a fast food joint in, at this time period? <laughs> Not necessarily. It should be throwing up some okay. red flags. Okay, okay. I'm about to say, like, <laughs> well, um, I know. In Future Seattle, all the fast food joints <laughs> I mean, in general, a lot of places are have like a lot of electronic conveniences and that kind of thing. So metal detectors might not be that um, big of a deal, but other things could be. So anyway, you uh, you notice he's pretty he's probably the security guard. He kind of carries himself that way, and he has his right arm is completely cybernetic. Okay. And uh, so right now he doesn't notice you. He's just looking through a magazine. Um, this what thing right here is a like food kiosk where you can order um, food if you want to. And then this is a uh, this is the kind of food prep counter area right here where you can buy food from. So right yeah. now you're still in the entrance way. <laughs> Nobody else is coming yet. I think I should try to hold him down, and then you guys rush in. We can hold him hostage. <laughs> <laughs> the subtle approach, I see. I, I don't. Yeah. This is this is always the question in situations. Like, how hard do we want to roll up here? Um, can you only really see that narrow? That narrow window? He he's still like basically in the doorway. That's why I'm wondering if how much he comes through. Okay. I can try to listen on some conversations, if possible. Um, 
should have gotten that jukebox to give us some <laughs> fast food background. <laughs> I haven't messed with the music at all. Um, you just notice general murmuring um, for now. It, it seems very uh, uncrowded right now. So, can't hear a whole lot going on. There's nothing going on in the uh, food prep area, and obviously the guard's not saying anything. You hear, you hear the occasional mutterings from the food prep area, <laughs> from the cook. Since we got the security guard unaware, I kind of do want to roll hard, but... <laughs> well, this is the guy we're supposed to just get... The, the guy who we're supposed to be getting the information on where the daughter is hangs out here. So we don't know if this... Maybe this, maybe this is like one of the mob guys, like, it's the business? I don't know. Okay. Certainly seems like something like that. If I'm still sneaking, uh, just go up to him and tap him on the shoulder and ask him some questions. <laughs> just surprise well, him for now. I'm just going to loiter right outside the door, okay. too. I'm just going to be hanging out like I'm reading a newspaper or something. Had a dawn now. Had a break out again? Yes. Damn. Keeps kicking. Okay, wouldn't that be a waste of your sneak? You're stuck in so well. <laughs> well, he got, he, he got the lay of the land before. Yeah, he, right, got, the, he right. got the lay of the land. Um, Plus, the security guard's now like totally like off kilter because this this combat lady just appeared in front of him. <laughs> All right, so you walk up to him, um, tap him on the shoulder. He looks um, briefly startled, like you caught him off guard, and he looks slightly embarrassed, um, and and just kind of folds the uh, the magazine under his arm. Just kind of nods at you. What do you want? Um, who are we supposed to talk to? <laughs> Fratelli? Um, something Fratelli? I should keep a notebook. Vic? Isn't it Vic Fratelli? Yes, it is. I'm trying to get the uh, whereabouts of a Vic Fratelli. As soon as you say the word Vic Fratelli, the guard suddenly completely changes demeanor. He uh, he turns to fully block your path into the restaurant. He kind of he kind of pulls his coat back to show his uh, his pistol in the revolver and he uh he kind of lazily puts his arm to the side but he's you he got your full attention now and he's go who wants to know Vic Bertelli's sister wants to know <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully this guy doesn't know Vic Bertelli well very well <laughs> Um go ahead and roll <laughs> for uh, let's see do you have the acting skill I have intimidation, that's about it. <laughs> You're not acting very intimidating. Do you want to attempt to intimidate him? Uh, sure. <laughs> he says it really mean like... <laughs> you puff out your chest. <laughs> like the ancient <laughs> puffer fit. <laughs> sister, that's who! Okay, okay. go if ahead and... Uh... If your character's female, you're better off showing some chest. Aww. <laughs> One success. Yeah. Uh, I guess while Reese is trying to intimidate him, I can move to the front of the door because I can shoot a stun bolt at him if he tries to, <laughs> to pull his gun. How <laughs> violent we all just start. I know. <laughs> um, I would also like to hack into the security system of the restaurant if it has any. I'm going to try to hack into the security. Look for one. Look for the security system? Mm hmm. That way I can hack into it and get any video cameras or anything. Okay. Um, um, once you're ready. I don't think there's... Uh, lightning bolt or stun bolt? Uh, do you have a... Let's see, is there a ma matrix perception? Oh, I was going to use cracking, but... Um... Uh, go ahead and roll for... I mean, you have to like know what you're going to hack into if you're going to use hacking as a thing. If, uh, you're, if you want to be in the matrix and then find things, there's some kind of matrix perception that you can do. Um, I guess you just have a normal perception skill. I only have visual perception. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll for that. My perception? Yeah. 
That's. I mean, you're, I'm assuming you're jacking into the matrix at this point, like you're, which you can do wirelessly. You don't have to. I mean, you pretty much just pull out your little speaking spell, and then you're like jacked in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have a perception of four, but then it also says I wrote down plus two. You should just do like the button. Um, you notice that the, uh, it does have several devices, um, in the kitchen area that show up as, uh, pretty common devices. There is a, um, a, let's see, it actually lists them. There's an auto grill, which cooks, uh, all the meat. There are fryer vats, where they do the fries. And there is an industrial pickle slicer, which is like a giant blade that comes down. All of these objects are sitting in the cooking prep area. That you can see. Um, you detect there may be some kind of automated um, defense system in this place, but you won't be able to uh, discover more without tripping any alarms. That's good. So meanwhile, uh, Reese, you are. Um, so are you guys just standing outside of the restaurant, just peering I in am. menacingly? I'm, I'm, just, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I'm hanging out nonchalantly, like, like looking like I'm just waiting for somebody or something. <laughs> um, the guard is very unimpressed with your intimidation efforts. He, uh, <laughs> he kind of sizes you up and sneers a bit, and says, uh, "And says, uh, Vic ain't here, man." I just saw someone that fit his description walk in. Look, who are you guys with? Are you knight errants? Lone Star? If you guys are cops, we need to see some badges. Lone Star. We're Lone Star. With all Reese, he's the only one in there. <laughs> yeah, you, I love how you guys are just hiding back, like making Reese do all of the work. He's like yelling at the window, We're Lone Star! We're Lone Star! Look, you can either order some food or get the hell out. The New York accent needs some work, honey. I know. <laughs> Wait, what are these All right, I'm... Do? Can I do something in here? I'm getting tired of watching this show. Why? Steps in. Um, I don't know how exactly how hard I want to roll here. <laughs> We're just looking... I, how about if I throw a stun bolt at him? Jesus. <laughs> We're still in the talking phases. <laughs> we are. <laughs> um, so, oh, I don't know. It, you hear in the uh, you hear in the background somebody shouts, uh, "Hey, Luce, what's going on up there?" And uh, the big security guy Kai kind of keeps his eyes focused on the door and just kind of says, uh, "Might have a bunch of troublemakers up here." So I'm gonna I'm actually gonna walk in and act like I don't even know. Reese, and just ask the guy if he's got cheeseburgers. We're walking, hey, you guys got cheeseburgers here? <laughs> you from my part of New York. <laughs> um, he says, uh, sure, little man, order at the kiosk over there. Don't cause any trouble. All right, I'm going to step behind the kiosk and order a cheeseburger. <laughs> um, yeah. As you uh, punch it in there, I can actually show you the menu. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what does this physical mask thing do? I can't find the, the sheet on my iPad. To tell me. Um, I believe that lets you disguise somebody as somebody else, or disguise them, like change their appearance. Can you guys see that menu? No. No. I don't know where it's at. All right, let me change that. Now can you see it? Yes. Yes. Okay. There is the menu at McHugh's. <laughs> nice. I want to All right. I'm going to ask him if I can get the Hue sliders with barbecue sauce on them. Hey, can you guys put barbecue sauce on the Hue sliders? <laughs> <laughs> um, you you punch the, uh, the right... You don't have to actually talk to anybody about this. Everything's well, automated. I, well, the purpose of all this is to distract this dude while everybody else does whatever they feel they need to do, so... 
You want to you want to come up to the counter? Yes. Because the guard's not right, fixing no. your shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, asking, I'm no, I'm standing at the kiosk and I'm talking to the guard. Like, I'm I'm directly talking to him. Okay. Okay. Guard says, uh, uh, "Just order it on the kiosk." Talk to it's Patsy the there kiosk, at the bar. Man. Then we ain't got it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to just to, to shorten this role play a little bit. I'm going to attempt to just be a belligerent customer with this security guard and debate him about the merits of barbecue sauce on juice lighters while my other teammates hopefully do something else. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hack into the kitchen electronics and turn them on full blast. So the pickle okay. is going to just start turning on and the grill is going to be high. <laughs> one at a time. you got to hack into each one one at a time. Each one, damn it. Each one is right. a separate. Uh, they look like separate little icons in the Matrix. So the the pickle slicer is like this giant knife thing. Uh, mm -hmm. The frying vats is like bubbling oil, and then the auto grill it looks like a giant press symbol. You can see them all right there in the food prep area. Uh, you can also see that the um, let's say the cooker guy is right now over the. Uh, ah, thanks. He's right there in the uh, auto grill. He's helping uh, press the meats and stuff. Uh, the auto grill cooks just about any frozen, flash frozen meat substitute, such as shaped krill and soy patties, to perfect temperature in seconds by passing an arc of electrical current through it. Then the patties pass through a heat press that adds those famous charboiled grill lines. I'm going to hack into it and turn it to 100% max. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Roll your uh, hacking skill. All right. Uh, you probably don't hear it yet. I think the guys inside will hear it first, but you can definitely hear the uh, grill suddenly um, causing a lot more kind of sparking noise and shocking, and uh, you suddenly hear a screaming sound. Let's see if I can get it. Is this damage oh God, you, you murdered some poor cook. <laughs> He's probably involved in this somehow. I think it's just his yeah. body. Just his body, what? Which is a four. Even cottonless resist eight damage. Oh my gosh, is he... Am I attacking him? <laughs> <laughs> so that guy was right there. <laughs> Did I start the attack? <laughs> Anyone whose head or hand gets crushed in the heat press must resist a burn, causing three, and they cannot apply. Armor rating. All right, so he gets to roll his body and see if he resists three damage. How much he resists? Nope. Zero. All right, so that dude, uh, you suddenly see his hand was reaching in to grab a patty. The thing goes full blast, so the smasher suddenly comes down and actually just flattens this guy's hand right onto the grill. And you hear a scream as it's just searing, and you, you get the awful, awful smell of just burnt flesh. Oh, God. Um, I'm going to tell the security guard, hey, that guy didn't look so good. You should probably help him. <laughs> uh, let's only do his. All right. So with that, um, wait, can I not? Oh, I got to go back to clicking on this. Select. All right, so the guard is going to move uh, in here and uh, immediately try and help this guy out who's still, like, screaming and doesn't know what's going on. Um, you guys can be acting while this is going on. Is there a back room somewhere? Do we know? Yeah, I'm going to step, like, to here and look around a little more, see if we can see anything else. Okay. I'll let you go. I'm inside now. Yeah, I think this is our opportunity. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Raymond. You're welcome. Uh-oh. All right, so now you can see uh, most of the lobby area. All right, so right now you've got uh, the guard is helping uh, the poor cook who is um, he's working in the kitchen, but he and he's wearing the stupid, like, yellow and red outfit of a normal McHugh's employee. 
but you notice that he has a very similar look to the guard, and he also looks way bulkier than uh, he probably should be. But uh, he is currently right now just trying to extricate himself from the <laughs> smasher that is inexplicably turned on, completely burned his hand, and the guard is trying to uh, free him. Um, I also like to turn up the vat of oil. Now that the other guard's in there, turn Travis can take care of this whole group. Just <laughs> turn on the <laughs> utensils. Yeah. Turn the vat of oil up to 100. percent Okay. Um, before you do that, so you notice. Um, there's a orc troll right here. He is currently in the AR, and he looks like he's reading a college book and probably studying for um, some kind of schoolwork. Um, that's this guy. He looks like a teenager, just kind of hanging out, eating burgers. Oh, um, I gotta scroll down. You notice this guy is um, busy, kind of eating his food, but he looks really nervous and fidgety, and he's glancing around. Um, Looks real suspicious. Um, you see this guy, which is dressed also in the red and yellow outfit of the McHughes. Um, he also looks big and bulky, and he is currently very concerned about what's going on in the food prep area. And um, eyeing you guys very suspiciously and starting to walk closer. You see what looks like a uh, dad and a daughter enjoying a happy meal over in this table. They are kind of... Um, they were oblivious to what's going on. Now, obviously, with the man's screams, they are both stopped what they're doing and trying to figure out what's going on. And finally, in the corner, you notice a very well-dressed man with a hat and a suit chomping down on his burger. Um, looked like he was enjoying things until all the screaming started, and now he has um, set down his burger and actually stood up from his table and looks like a, uh, a deer in headlights. So, do, we know, do we know what Vic looks like? You didn't ask, George, about what he looks like. Whoops. <laughs> 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 the well-dressed man. Um, so you are... And so Raymond's actually back here, um, still in the parking lot, and then you're going to hack into the... What did you say? The Friar Vats. Okay, so roll for your uh, hacking. <sighs> Two successes. Okay, so you, uh, for some reason, it looks like maybe some of the defenses have kicked in, and uh, you can't quite get a hack on the uh, Friar Vats just yet. Um, so while you guys are walking in, uh, you notice another individual comes out right here. He looks impeccably dressed, um, looks like the manager of the McHugh's. And he is trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Um, he notices the guard has finally freed uh, the cook from the fryer vat. The guy is um, screaming about his hand. This guy says, uh, Patsy, Lucy, what's going on down there? What the hell happened? You got an equipment malfunction or something? Patsy's like, I, I don't know, boss. It just started uh, going crazy on me. And, oh, God, my fucking hand. This is the weirdest collection of accents I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, he says, Jesus, get him back in the back room. Just wrap that hand up. Christ. What the hell happened? I, I'm sorry. And he just kind of goes <laughs> back in here. <laughs> he says, what the fuck? He says, I don't know, but it all started happening when these assholes started coming in. He kind of nods to uh, Adept right here, and then the uh, riggers walked in. He notices there's an elf that's walked in as well. <laughs> do, we not, do we not look like regular customers? Um, <laughs> yeah, the regular customers, but uh, he's still pretty suspicious. Um, Frankie, uh, or uh, Frankie, well, yeah, so his name is Frank. Uh, he calls over this guy and kind of whispers stuff in his ear, and then they nod to each other, and this guy goes back into the storm room. Uh, you guys can be doing um, stuff while this is going on as well. Do I see any doors to what is presumably a room in the, in the top right over here? Um, they are. They look like uh, restrooms. No, oh, the restrooms. Okay. Here's a question: Can I assess the room to figure out who we're looking for? Like assess all the people in the room? 
Um, you, uh, I wish I knew the rules on like astral presence because you can enter like the astral plane and try to figure out like who's who from there. <laughs> I uh, honestly don't know the rules for that though. Um, what skills do you have? Um, assessing. Assessing is a skill. Yes. Interesting. I wonder what that does. <laughs> You're the one who let me set this up. <laughs> Assess the situation. <laughs> Assess the situation. The situation is dire. I'm acting. Uh, you could try to defuse um, what looks like people approaching you right now. Yeah, how about I do that? Okay. We've all got the wrong idea. We're all okay. I'm super pretending like I'm not with you people. I'm just trying to order a burger. Okay, go ahead and roll your uh, acting skill. Despite what you think, I am Vic Vinegar's sister. <laughs> <laughs> Vic Vinegar. <laughs> Absolutely get his name wrong. His last name changes every time he says it. Mr. Burns, what is your last name? What is your first name? I don't know. <laughs> Any modifiers? Um, no. Not really what a big character called Big Vinegar. <laughs> big Vinegar. Did it do anything? It has to roll back. you, honey. Really? Real true crime. I didn't see it. <laughs> I guess. Oh, oh dear. Um. <laughs> That, that did not go well. Yeah, you attempt to uh, dissuade everybody, <laughs> say, hey, we're just normal customers, but you end up shifting your eyes too much, maybe fiddling with your hands too much, and um, you see... Uh, behind you screaming about Vic Vinegar's sister. I am! Just to no one in particular. You, s you see this one in the, uh, the far right corner. Uh... You see both this guy who's dressed in the janitor equipment and then the security guard both look at him briefly. He nods and uh, this guy draws his gun and this one just takes his mop and bull rushes the dwarf. So I'm going to need everyone to roll for initiative, please. Thank you, guys. Wait, how do I do that? 